good evening. Good evening. My name is Simon Richardson. It's a pleasure for me to be here tonight to give you some magical entertainment, hopefully. Well, I'd like to start out, first of all, with a little story of the, the, the first magician I saw. And uh, basically, he offered to somebody to take an elastic band from his wrist. Would you do that for me, sir? Thank you. Now, that was one way, but the way he did it was he did a simple one, two, and on three, he actually brought a band through his wrist. And everyone around went, oh, oh, yeah, very good. And um, would you mind having a, a look at that? And wh whilst he was do whilst he was doing that, he t he took the band and he snapped the band. And that in itself wouldn't be a very magical feat. But when he took the ends of the band and touched them back together, and rubbed in the place where it had joined, he found that uh, the band had mysteriously joined back together again, and everyone around went. Oh! <laughs> Well, all this ooing and aahing had caused a little bit of a crowd to gather, and he decided to try and escape. But first, he had to be bound. And being bound, he could, there was no escape, as everyone could plainly see. He couldn't go this way, he couldn't go that way, he couldn't go up or down, left or right. But he found if he just rubbed the bands in the middle, they would just mysteriously melt through each other. And everyone around was astounded. And he got a, he got a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> so, so, so I'm just going to give you a very special view now, if that's alright for you. Uh, do your fingers work? Can you yeah. do that with them? Lovely. Well, lovely. There we are. If I put that on there, if you bend that finger for me, and bend that one for me. Now you're going to get a really good view, and you're going to be able to tell everybody here just how it's done, okay? Yeah. So, there we are. So, the band definitely goes on your side, doesn't it? Yeah. There we are. Okay. So he found that um, he couldn't bring it this way, he couldn't go that way, that way, or up or down. But he found if he just rubbed in the middle, in the middle, the band would just mysteriously melt. And everyone was astounded yeah. that night too. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, something else I'd, li I'd like to show you uh, is, is a, a bit of magic with uh, not not one rope. But, uh, one. You might take a look at that for me, please. Thank you. Uh, not two rope, maybe if you can inspect that. Uh, and uh, three rope, would you mind inspecting that one? Thank you, sir. And uh, if you're happy, they, they're not stretch at all, do they? Give, give them a good look. No, no, no. Okay, and uh, perhaps if I can have, have that one, thank you very much. And uh, again, if I have this one, marvellous. Now, sometimes when I'm doing it, the, the lights in, in the particular venues, and so they can sometimes play tricks on your eyes. And uh, sometimes, it, if, you, if you're handling the ropes, it gives the effect that the ropes are, in fact, stretching and stretching and stretching until they all become, apparently, apparently the same length. So we've got one, we've got two, we've got three ropes, and they're all the same length. And um, well, I can see there's a little bit of confusion uh, in some people's faces here, so I'll I'm just going to put one away for now, and I'll, I'll just work with two ropes. In fact, so I'll go one further for you. I'll start with one. Thank you. If I was uh, wanting to find the middle of a middle of a rope, I would uh, simply double the rope over and uh, find out. Would you mind making a cutting uh, gesture towards my hands, please? A, a, a cutting gesture. Lovely, thank you very much. There we are, and we end up with the two two ropes the same way. Well, that that's that's one way. Um, just um, let me just uh, reset that. Uh, there we are, and uh, let's try, try something different this time. So again, if I'm wanting to find the centre, another way of finding the centre is uh, doubling it over. And oh, oh uh, hold on a minute. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's put that in my pocket. Um, we end up with. To a couple of short ends and uh, a long loop of rope. Um, the trouble is with a long loop of rope, there's not really much you can do apart from get some ends back on. So, uh, would you say stop for me any any time? There we are. Okay, so we'll put the ends back on there, and there we are. We've got the ends on. Oh, we know exactly how that's done. It's done with static electricity. Bit of there, a bit on there, and as you draw the ropes through your hands. They, they lock the static electricity. But don't worry, I do keep, keep extra ends. And i uh, just got some in my pocket there. So they're the other ends. We just need to find a suitable place to put them on. So we, we lay them on the rope. It, it, and it really looks like they're on there. It doesn't look like we're just laying them on the top. Well, that's because they actually are on the rope. Well, so, uh, another, uh, another way.
way of uh, of doing things is um, we're finding finding the centre of the rope. You can you can double it to have the loop at the top, but you've got to be very careful with this as well because you, you end up uh, if you're not careful you end up with a little uh, little loop and then two long ends. Um, the, the only thing you can do for that is uh, is maybe try to put them back back on in the middle and maybe a matter if you wouldn't mind blowing for me. Blow on the loop out there, there and it just melts back into the centre of the rope again. Thank you. Well, back at the beginning, we started. We started with uh, one rope. We, no, we started with two ropes. Uh, actually, no, we started with three ropes, didn't we? And they've got to be along just here. Three ropes, all the same length. One, two, three. Uh, actually, they weren't the same length, were they, to begin with? Um, so I tell you, if I just put that one up there like that. That one up there like that. That one up there like that. Madam, if I can ask you to blow again for me. There we are. And then we end up with. A short piece, a medium piece, and one long piece. <laughs> what a nightmare. <laughs> I've just, just got one more piece to show you uh, at the moment. And, uh, and oh, where? Where's that gone? There we are. Now, magicians, when they when they bring out a wall, you think there's going to be money involved. I am going to actually break that rule to, uh, tonight. Uh, there's absolutely no money involved at all. Um, well, I am a magician after all. Um, anyway, what, what, uh, what I have in here is just a piece of paper, a, a blank piece of card. Um, no particular value to it, but here is here is the valuable thing. You look like a bit of an artist. Do you, do you draw at all? Oh, no. You don't. Oh well, this 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 doesn't need an artist anyway. So uh, let me just uh, let me just find. Um, where's my pen? Maybe it's in this. There we are. It's in the side. Um, if there's a pen, if you if you go careful with that. Now, what we have, uh, what I'd like you to draw, is as big as you can, using as much of the card as possible to draw. To draw, oh, and maybe a, a, a radio. So yeah, just as, using as much of the card as possible. So a, a box, a, a speaker, uh, an on-off switch. Uh, okay, and, and um, uh, maybe a little tuner there for me as well. So. That's, the, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, you see, it can be anything that you want it to be, really, can't it? So, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, I'll take that back. That's how I got it. Um, so, <coughs> marvellous, marvellous. Now, when I was younger, I used to, uh, I used to imagine all sorts of things. I used to have a wonderful imagination. My mum and dad would give me an Argos catalogue, and I would, I would, uh, I would look at the pictures of the toys and, and so on. And I'd be flicking through. And um, I could look at the toy. I could uh, imagine the toys coming to life. And to be honest, it saved my mum and dad a fortune because they just gave me an Argos catalogue for Christmas. Um, but uh, anyway, wouldn't it be marvellous if we could maybe make this make a noise? And uh, if you listen very carefully. Good Lord! <laughs> <laughs> you went to press die that though. Right? Yeah. Yeah. To say, well, we, we, sh we shall see what we can do, okay? Uh, where's the on off switch there, is it? Yeah. Here we are. And I always uh, paraphrase, I never quite can get it, but the one I oh. use all the time is. Uh, <laughs> We've all got very, very good imaginations, actually. Sausage. Let's just turn it off a minute. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, actually, no, I will turn it back on. There we are. Yeah. I'm just going to try a little be experiment, be really. And uh, <laughs> let's see if it will still work. Oh, that's torn it. Uh, well, uh, you can't really expect it to work once it's been torn through, uh, but let's see if we can still get it to work somehow. I'm behind blue eyes. Yeah. Next. Yeah. 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 Would you like to have a go with this? There we are. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm going to let you keep that as a souvenir. Thank you. Yeah, and, um, I'm going to hang on to this piece uh, because basically you might be putting it together all evening and uh, the, the other acts won't get to look in, will they really? No, you're well, right. <laughs> you're a little bit disappointed, I can tell. I tell you, I will give it to you. Can you hold your hand up for me, please? On one proviso, that way, pop the battery up first. <laughs> That's for you. That's for me. Thank you very much. Very good. Very good.